Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm an intern here at the Cougar Mountain Zoo. Today I'll be giving you a sneak peek at one of our very special animal species that we have here living at the zoo. Here we have our Rocky Mountain mule deer. Right here I have twin sisters Bella and Alice with me. Mule deer are known for their large ears. They actually have the largest ears of all deer species in the world and they can constantly swivel them around to scan their surroundings for predators to keep them safe. Mule deer are herbivores, meaning that they only eat plant material. They have a specialized jaw to help them break down their food. Right here, I have a mule deer jaw, and you can see that they have their lower incisors are used for cropping plants and leaves and twigs, getting that, chopping it off. And they have flat and rigid molars to help with breaking down and grinding that plant material before it goes into their stomachs. Here at the zoo, they're fed a mixture of alfalfa, apples, and they also have a specially formulated diet that gives them all the nutrients that they need. You guys can probably recognize these species from around your home. They're actually native to Washington and we have three different deer species that are native to this area. We have Rocky Mountain Mule Deer, Colombian Black Tail Deer, and White Tail Deer. You can tell the difference between these deer species by looking at their tails. So hence the name, Black Tail Deer will have an all black tail, while White Tail Deers have a brown tail with a fluffy white underside, and mule deer, like our willow here, will actually have a long and thin white tail with a black tip at the end. Mule deer have another cool adaptation for survival. Female deer will hide their fawns within tall, bushy grasses, and the deer have camouflage. When they're born, they have spots along their coat that fades as they get older, and they're really good at hiding perfectly motionless in grasses to hide from predators. Mule deer are very common, so if you see them in your neighborhood, just stay a safe distance away and view them from afar. But if you would like a chance to view some mule deer up close, you're welcome to come to the Cougar Mountain Zoo and come see our girls. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. I hope you learned a little something about mule deer. My name's Hannah, and I hope to see you guys at the Cougar Mountain Zoo soon.